want to go out. I don't know if I can because I'm so afraid of the Tommy Knocker Man. Mom, make him stop. Freddy Cat and Nut are too all right, good. All right, Billy, really? stop torturing your brother and get ready for school. Mom? Hey, Hilly, don't argue with your mom. I don't want you to come straight home after school today, okay? You got chores. Yo, Gramps says you're only a kid once. Gramps doesn't pay the bills around here. I do, and as long as I do, you're going to do what I tell you, all right? Yes, sir. Oops. Damn it, Hilly! Sorry. Wait up, Bill. And don't slam the door. Well, Hilly without accidents is like McDonald's without hamburgers. Yeah. You're a little hard on him. Well, somebody's got to be tough on him. Your dad spoils him rotten. Well, those boys are his whole life. Thirty new tricks. Hours of fun for the young prestidigitator. <laughs> That's magician in plain English. Is it okay? It's cool. Except. Except for what? Well, Dad says there's no such thing as magic. Dads forget things being dads. That's what happens to grown-ups. But you're a grown-up. No, I'm an old man. Kids and old people, we know that magic's real, no matter what anybody says. There is even a place that's magic. A place? Yes, out by the Anderson farm. In my day, we called it Big Engine Woods, but it's called Burning Woods now. But no matter what it's called. There's magic there. The engines believed it, and so do I. You mean they're haunted? They are、uh, magic spirits. You have to keep your wits about you when you go there. And Hilly, never, never go there alone. Okay, baby, let's use your thumb, shall we? There you go. Right there. Good. Perfect. You see, that's how we fingerprint our suspects. See that, everybody? Over here, come on, over here. This, this is where we have our cells, and we put on all the people who break the law in here. Okay, and then down here, this is the dispatcher station, where Mrs. Paulson answers all the important police calls. Don't you, Mrs. Paulson? Right. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, come on in here. Let's go see the schoolroom. This is the best part. Come on. You see, when I was a little girl, my parents used to travel a lot. And every time they went to a new country, they would bring me another doll. So I have dolls from Africa and East Asia and from all over the world. Are dolls your hobby? Oh yes, they are my hobby. My friends know that I like them, so every time they travel, they bring me one. And no, Norma. We don't want to break anything now, do we? That's all right. That's all right. JoJo's never been broken. Go ahead, pull that. My name is JoJo. What? They're bad. I'm scared. Baby, it's okay, sweetheart. Come on, children. Don't you come back some other time? We'll see them together, okay? All alone, just you and me. All right. Bye, Davy. Bye. You scared that little boy. Come on, which one of you scared that little boy?
Yeah, Haven Post Office, Joe Paulson. Mm. Hi, Joe. It's me. Hi, hon. Be right home at 6 o'clock because I'm making that new chicken Kiev like those Ruskies eat. It squirts real butter when you stick your fork in it. Honey, I'm sorry. I really, I, I think I'm going to have to work late tonight. Oh, Joe, come on. Not again. You know, that new postmistress is a real tyrant. Oh, yeah. Honey, she's much harder on me than old Charlie Esterbrook for sure. Yeah, honey, I will. I, honey, I will. I gotta go now. Bye. Huh? That woman's gonna be the death of him. <laughs> Are you ready? Am I, am I ready? Is that your question? Am I ready? <laughs> it's like the sign says, neither snow nor rain nor... Sweet. Nor gloom of night. And stay these couriers. <laughs> From the sun. Swift completion oh, <laughs> of, of their, their appointed, appointed round. <laughs> to be buried in buffalo skins rather than in coffins. What are you looking at? Ah. Wanna get out of here? Ah. Okay, let's go. from Maine, James Gardner. Hi, I'm Jim, and I'm an alcoholic. I haven't had a drink in about a year now. Not that I don't want one all the time. The hell, I don't. The thing with me and booze is that I basically have a bad containment system. You know, it's like there's, there's this technician in here somewhere that should have been fired like a long time ago. <laughs> and when I drink, I, um, I turn into this stranger who does the stupidest, crazy things. Monster. And my friend, Bobby, she always says, knowing is one thing, but doing something about it is uh, another. Well, anyway, the problem is I've got this poem that I have to read in public. It's probably the last chance I'll have to see if I can hack it on the circuit as a poet. Just hang up my jock. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, I'm scared to death. I'm going to need a drink to do it. I'm scared to death. I appreciate you bringing this to me, Butch, but you could have called it in or asked it to me. All part of the service, Ruthie. Well, thank you. Um, any plans on coming up to Derry some? No, not in the near future. Why? No reason. Just wondering. Yeah. Ladies? Bye, Butch. Think he's sweet on you? Don't be ridiculous. I'll be back in about an hour, boys. Anything new? All quiet on this front, Captain. When are you gonna ask that Merrill woman out on a date? Haven't you got something better to do than worry about my private life jingles? Like checking all the uh, diners in northern Maine for health violations or something? You can bark all you want to. But just because she was your partner's wife and a damn fine constable besides, there's no reason not to speak your heart. Let it be, fellas. Let it be. Ben's right. Time's going by. And neither of you is getting any younger. Let's go. Would you get away from that window and go back to work, please? <laughs> magician in history. I'm gonna be just like him someday. Go to sleep, kid. That hot water heater is really shot. I thought I'd get us a new one while you're gone. No, see if you can keep the old one going for a few weeks. I'll buy us a new one when I get back. Okay. Oh, Pete and I found a great cache of firewood today. Mm-hmm. Haven't started the novel, huh? Uh, you know, just because I'm a little whack, there's no reason to rub it in. So that, uh, sexy young school marm and the gruff buffalo hunter that haven't gotten together yet? I hate you. You okay? Hey, never better, Bobby. Never better. Teeth. So it's not my imagination, right? The vision in his right eye does seem to be returning. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Hey. <laughs> 
poet is no stranger to those of you who remember Raging Angel, the book that some critics claimed gave an authoritative voice to the angst of the last decade. I trust he will provide us with a memorable finish, reading us his latest work, Friends of New Poetry, I give you James Eric Gardner. Uh, going to try to live up to my reputation and read something new and angry tonight, but instead I think I'll be a little unpredictable and read something from my first book. It's a love poem called One More Mile. This is for Bobby Anderson. Only for you. I was raised to believe God was love. But how loving can God be when he makes men and women smart enough to land on the moon, but stupid enough to have to learn that there is no such thing as forever, only to have to learn it over and over again? One more mile. Just one more mile. Then one day I dreamed. I found you. Illusion made substance. In a dream realer than any mirage, your eyes looked up at me and saw the me... I wish and after I all these doubts and all these fears, after all these questions without answers and dreams without substance, I journeyed home. One more mile. Just one last mile. And there you were. sure you're ringing the right room he's with the new england poetry caravan i have been ringing ma'am would you like to leave a message uh yeah just tell him no never mind just no thanks i'll just uh try later <sighs> well he'd see it all right he said bobby cataracts don't recede you gotta find out where he's been and what he's gotten into well buddy i know where you've been let me take a better look.
folks will kill me if they find out we were here. Who's gonna tell them? Graham says this is where the Micmac Indians used to pray to their gods. Give me a break. Really? They believe this was a place of magic. In between the spirit world and the real. Ugh. Gross. Whoa. What do you think killed it? Probably ate some poison bait. Yeah, maybe it was a sacrifice to the gods. Yeah. What? Don't you hear it? Gramps was right. Run, Barney. <laughs> What are you kids doing here? You shouldn't be alone in the woods. Let's go call your dad. I'll come pick you up. Drink, sir? Uh, tonic water, please. I, uh, thought your poem was wonderful tonight, Mr. Gordon. Thanks very much, son. Hey, my friends call me Jim. Thanks. Everything all right, Gardner? Oh, Patricia, I didn't know you cared. Tonic water. I'm dubious. Yes, you always have, but what you really are, though, Pat, is uh, a little ticked off, aren't you? I mean, I got the biggest hand of the day. I pay you to read new poetry, not old stuff. When's the last poem you wrote that got published? When's the last poem you wrote that was any good? You may fool them, but you don't fool me. You're nothing but a drunk, Gardner. Always were, always will be. Why don't we add some vodka to that? Whatever you say, Mr. Gardner. I say, on uh, second thought, hold the tonic. Wash and fluff. Don't listen to a word she says, yes, Pearl. Pearl. You got a dollar all up. She's got a big date, and I do mean. Do you mind? Please? Big. Becca, stop it. <laughs> She's going to the movies with Butch Dugan. Yeah, tell the world, why don't you? <gasps> After this, we're going to zip you into one of those kind of outfits like Michelle Pfeiffer wears. Uh -huh. really? Just my yeah. regular yeah. Pearl, please. You know? okay, oh. Okay. oh, Pearl, you know what? Can you show her some of that new polish and lipstick that you got? Yes, yes. Final passion. No, no. Thank you very much. That's where I draw the line, girls. Oh, 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 oh. Ruth's right. We don't want our sheriff parading around town looking like a floozy. Besides, I just sold the last set to our postmistress. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Ladies. Hi, Nancy. Nancy. <sighs> well, then. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Nancy. Nancy. That was close. Where have you been? Bobby Anderson's woods, that's where. Not burning wood. Yeah. After all that we've told you about not going in there? You were right, Grumps. The woods are magic. Upstairs, young man. Bad magic. Not another word. Well, Ev Hillman, this looks like your fault. Boys always jumping around. I was like that when I was his age. If you're gonna live under my roof, would you please live by my rules? Ev? bit me out there. You know when I was picking up Hilly? Well, there's a lot of that summer flu going around. You want me to call Doc Worf? No. 
They'll just tell me to drink a lot of water and get plenty of rest. I'm okay. What's his name again? No, no, no. Don't tell me, don't tell me. It's that sound you make when you gargle. It's... <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Argo bargle? Well, Arberg, actually. Oh, no, Argo bargle. Argo bargle sounds so much better, don't you think? Mr. Argo bargle. Hello. Maybe you better call it night. Yes, yes, sir. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I should just go home, get a good night's sleep, and live to write another day to fight. God, the American people have finally got this Chernobyl business into perspective so we can go ahead with a new plan. 26 dead. It's horrible. But then last month, the plane crash killed 195, and you don't see the government shutting down all the airlines, do you? <laughs> At Chernobyl, they killed kids. Did you know that? Little nine-year-olds, the ones in utero. Isn't that right, Mr. Uh, Kilowatt? I'm fix you. Oh, Patricia. Really? Well, I've been waiting to be fixed by you for years. Shall we maybe go upstairs or just give everybody a treat and do it right here on the rug, huh? Come on. I'm going to Ooh. see to it that you'll never work again, you Excuse drunken, me. contentious, nah. worthless. Oh! 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 Hey, you. Caramba! Hey, come you on. stupid ass! Andale! 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 Stop this! <laughs> come on, somebody help me! Help, help you, me! Help come on. You. Is that all you can say, Mr. Power Man? Mr. Uh, Kilowatt? You nuking SOB. Hey, you, you gotta bug out of here. The ladies called the cops. Yeah, no, oh, but God, I shouldn't have done that. What, hit him? No, open the umbrella in the house is bad luck. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. If, if you remember nothing else in this world, remember this. God hates a cow. Suck it up. Spare vacuum cleaner parts. Selling people a great American dream, right? So, what's your name, what's your game, friend? Jim Garden is the name. Poetry. <laughs> I never met a poet before. <laughs> so, where if I might ask you ahead, Mr. Poet? The place where when you have to go there, they have to take you in. Uh, that's very nice. Is a uh, 
thermos of java and a sack of drunken donuts in the back of your hungry. <laughs> Thanks. Dude. Let's see if I can get some traveling music. Oh, damn. What the hell was that? No, that was me. Yeah, you see this? Yeah. Did you get in a fight? Yeah. It was a giant pine. Well, how did it happen? I was trying to impress this pretty young thing on the slopes when I was about 17. When I woke up, they filled my head with the steel plate. Told me I got headaches from time to time. Headaches? My God, you're lucky to be alive. Yeah, that's what they said. What they didn't say was that every now and then I was going to pick up a microwave dish or a radio transmission. Oh, man. That is really something. The first guy I ever met who could do a trick like that. Some trick. something worthy? I'll answer it if I can. After Ralph died, why'd you stay in Haven? Well, start with, I don't like cities so much. And then, after a while, the land casts a spell. It kind of gets to you. So let me ask you a question. Name it. Come, you never got married. Me? Eh, uh, would one of them marry a big lug like me? A lot of women. Yeah, matter of fact. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. I, I was thinking I'm... I have to get up early. Let's go, okay? Sure. I'm sorry, honey. You ought to be. The sandwiches. Oh. For you and the boys? Oh. For your fishing trip? Really, this is great. Thanks a lot, honey. Well, I'll see you tonight, OK? Hey. 
She bought the fishing story? Hook, line, and sinker. Good. Then hop on in and let's see what we can catch. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh. <laughs> on in and let's see what we can catch. <laughs> the magic guillotine. Behold its sharpness. Observe. I need a volunteer from the audience. You, Barney Applegate. Me? I hope you know what you're doing. No. Just put your finger in here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, now I need a volunteer for my next trick. <laughs> Mr. Allison. Me, I don't think so. Come on, Mr. A. This okay, I'll do it. Just make it fast, Tilly. And now the black and white rabbit trick. First, it's white. Now, please take off the top, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Ellison. Just give me another chance. I can do the multiplying coin trick. Thanks for the ride. Should have been you who found it. Found what? I think that it was for you. What? What was? Well, you'll understand better once you see it and, and you feel it. And... Hey, hey. What, what do you want? Euphoria. A miracle. At first, I just thought it was a car, you know? I mean, like that time we found that, that, that Hudson Morgan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could have walked past this thing three times a day for 40 years. I never stumbled over it. I mean, it really... Julie, oh, are you all right? Yeah. Oh, but, I, 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 just slow down. I, okay. Yes, I'm rambling. Yeah. I know. I haven't slept, and I guess I need some food, too. But I'm telling you, God, I, I just makes me feel different, and I, I have all this energy, and I've got ideas, and... Uh, well, what? and you're telling me that you think that this thing in the ground is making you feel this way. Well, I, it struck the peak, too. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah his eyes, his eyes matter. The cataract is, is disappearing. Uh, oh, please, honey. Huh. <laughs> Tell me what's going on here. Uh, well, oh, no, I'll just show you. Oh, just wait till you see it, God. You are not going to believe it. You okay? Here it is. Oh. It's an 
most incredible thing I've ever seen. It's really something, isn't it? What the hell is it? <laughs> oh, I want to show you something else. Watch this. Stop the thing, yeah? Oh, God, you scared me to death. Well, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. What happened? What was it? I don't know. You saw I touched that thing, and it felt like my head was going to explode. It's like the DTs. I just can't believe that that thing could do this to you. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe it didn't. I haven't been too good for the past couple of days, you know. No, I, I don't know. Well, you know, I was, I was away over there, and I, I got this really bad feeling that you were in trouble. Is that why you came back early? My hero. Some hero. <sighs> Fell off the wagon, Bobby. What? Yeah, I went on a binge. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You just like that. <laughs> what after everything we've been through and everything we were you're sorry. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know what happened. I was uh, had this little success thing, you know. You weren't there to share with me. I just didn't have any. Come on, say something. You go to hell. Okay, if I come in. Didn't go so good at school today, huh? They all laughed. So? They laughed at Columbus, too. Who cares what they think? I do. I practiced so hard. I wanted it to be perfect. Of course you do, kiddo. You just got cat whiskers for nerves. But all artists and smart guys do. But the trick is to get back up on the horse and show him who's boss. You mean like, you know, like studying again? Yeah, that's what makes the difference between winners and losers. Trying again.
Bobby, could you just listen to me for a minute? I couldn't help it. <laughs> That's a lie. I didn't even try. I just drank. I got all this applause for this old, old poem. I mean, let's be real here. I haven't written anything worth crap in years. Years. I'm a fraud, Bobby. Maybe I always have been. I know that I don't deserve your forgiveness, but I, I am sorry. You're the only one whose love still matters to me, you know. I don't know what I'd do if you'd stop loving me, Bob. Don't you know by now that I'll always love you? So I take those things and it'll work? Hi, I'm Jeff Stewart, and welcome again to He Devils, where our three lovely ladies in just a moment are going to vie for a night of breathtaking romance with our one hunk of a stud over here, Larry. <laughs> shirts that are ironed. Why didn't you wake me up when you came home last night? Well, it was very late and... Oh, hi. Oh, it was very late and you were sleeping and I didn't want to wake you up. 
Yeah, but you know, you should have called me or something. I was honey, really worried. Honey, I'm in the middle of the woods. How am I going to phone you? Well, you know, I cooked your favorite meal last night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I got that nightgown that you really like a lot, and I... I'm sorry. Where are the fish? What fish? You know, the fish. The fish. I'm, honey, I'm a lousy fisherman, and the fishing was lousy. And do I have any iron shirts? Yeah, I, I mean, you were them... supposed to do them yesterday. I put them right in the drawer where I always put them. Honey, they're not in the drawer, okay? Come on. All I'm asking is you give me that one shirt that's ironed. What's wrong? I need your help. What? I need some batteries. Batteries? Yeah, and other stuff, too. I forgot a list. What, what's this all about? I've come up with a new trick. I can do it at my birthday party on Saturday. I know what, huh? Is it a good trick? Not good. Great. The best trick anyone's ever seen. It'll make him gasp and scream and yell. A trick that they'll remember forever. <laughs> hey, Petey. Hello. It's about time. You've been up long? Hours. Really? Breakfast almost ready. You need a shave. Yeah, well, I would trade my soul in for a long, hot shower in the process. You would? Well, hand it over then. Wait a minute. You didn't call the plumber, did you? We talked about this. I didn't call the plumber. I did it myself while you were gone. Hey, Pete, Miss Home Improvement, huh? No, oh, ye of little faith. do something about the hot water here. The next thing I knew, it was done. Wait a minute. You, let me get this straight. You, you're telling me that that thing out there is talking to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. As I uncover it, it's sending out some kind of transmission. They're turning you into Einstein, huh? Well, no. Not Einstein, exactly, because Einstein knew things. I don't know anything. I just... I, mean, I have no idea how I got the hot water heater to work. I just knew as I was doing it, everything seemed clear as a bell. I don't know what that thing is. I just know that we have to dig it up. Or there's something miraculous about it. Let's experience it together. What? What? What is this? 
My invention. <laughs> wow. What does it do? It sorts the first class mail. No. Watch this. Come on. Are you. Look at this little flag. I love this. Oh! Wow. You got the village. RFD1 Dairy Road. That's too much. How did you think of this? It just came to me. Smart, huh? Well, wow. not bad. Not for a woman. It's not bad at all. Oh, you weren't complaining last night, now were you? Well, last <laughs> night, I mean, we were going at each other like bunnies and the sky was lighting up like New Year's Eve. No, I wasn't complaining at all. Like... So what was that thing? Oh, who the hell knows? We were both crocked. <laughs> we sure were, weren't we? Mm. You want to do it again? Do I? Do you? Do I? Do you? Oh, <laughs> boy. Howdy do I. <laughs> What are you digging up on that farm of yours? There's some stumps in the back that need clearing. Well, if you dig up any buried treasure, save some for me. I wouldn't mind being a lady of leisure, I can tell you that. Hey there, you two. Top of the day. Hey, Hilly needs more batteries. Better try them all up at Augusta. Huh? I'm cleaned out. Been a real run on them lately. Seems like everybody wants them. All right, now, before we hear from our he devil who is patiently standing by, I want you to tell our viewers, each one of you, exactly what it is that you like in a man. And we'll start over here with Wendy. What do you like in a man? They made a man like you, Chaz Stewart. They broke them all. What are you doing tonight? Unfortunately, I'm busy. Otherwise, well, anyway. <laughs> Girls, how would our heat devil answer this question? Sex is good, but blank is better. Joe? Fishing. <laughs> Fishing is better. Do you still love me, Joe? What is this? I mean, what, do I still what? What kind of a dim bulb question is that anyway? It's just lately you don't seem to show it. I don't believe you. I really don't. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Joe. No, you crazy. You're fra- I'm sorry, no. No, I'm not. Jeez. Why are you so mean to me? What chance do you like this? I have nothing. I'm just the same as I always was. And where's my keys? Where are you going? How dare you ask me that question? I'm going out now, and I'll be back when I want to. You got it? But Joe... You got it? But Joe... Do you got it? But Joe... But, 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 but. See, I never want to hear that word again. I never want to hear but again, because but is what a goat has for brains. And but is for the small-minded people in this small-minded town. Bye. And butt is what you say when you want to get away from your stupid wife. Uh, he must think you were born yesterday. Born yesterday to believe such bull. Listen, Becca, Joe, he's been cheating on you. It must be heat stroke. I'd better call the infirmary. Nah, calm down, Becca. Chill out. Let's not have a heart attack over this. Okay, Chaz. Listen, one thing you got to get straight. You are not going crazy. TVs don't talk? Well, Becca, it appears that this one does. And besides, we got a lot to talk about. About Joe, for one thing, and his infidelities. He's having an affair. You got it. I mean, he's been putting it to that hussy down at the post office just about every lunch hour. And around quitting time, too. Well, what am I going to do? What are you going to do? Hey, why don't we ask our contestant? Okay, ladies, I want you to put yourself in Becca's shoes. What would you do? Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> well, there you have it, Becca. It's unanimous. Kill him. Oh. Isn't this a spell? <laughs> I wonder how big it is. I wonder what it is. Maybe it's a, an ancient temple from another civilization. Or a, you know, piece of a Mayan treasure. Hey, maybe it's Atlantis. Hell, if Pete's any indication, it could be the Fountain of Youth. 
Bobby, you think maybe we should tell somebody about this? Somebody? Who? Well, I don't know. Maybe we should just uh, tell... <sighs> maybe we should tell the authorities, okay? Oh, no. No. All right, Ruth Merrill, then. Well, why? Because she's my friend? She's a cop guard. She go to the feds. Oh, would that be so bad? <laughs> what are you talking about? When, I mean, how can you say that? You who thinks our government won't be completely satisfied until we all glow in the dark? I mean, all I meant I mean, I've got this amazing thing, and you want me to turn it over to them? Guard. They will come here with, with trucks filled with barbed wire and men with guns. and They'll gag us, guard. And you know that they would do it. You really do hold forth. You know that, don't you? I learned from a master. Okay. Okay. Okay? So, until we know what this is, we'll just keep it between us, all right? Not a word, Teddy. Afternoon, Bobby. What can I do for you? Um, yeah, I've got a piece of uh, registered mail. Joe, you got that package for Anderson back there? Oh, God, he's so hot, I can't stand it. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. Hey. There you go, Bobby. Hey, Joe, thanks. Oh, jeez, look at his hair. I haven't been this horny since I was 16. Last thing I need is his wife knowing what we're up to. Is there anything else? Give my regards to Becca. Oh, I'm telling you, I could read their minds. Sense that they were having an affair, maybe, but come on, read their minds. <laughs> oh, you're very intuitive. You always know what the hell I'm going to say next. You probably will. I know I'm right. I know I'm tired. And I think we should go to bed. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not really tired. I just want to write a little bit. You have better luck than I do. I'll step to late. What you doing, Hill? Ouch! I've got to get ready for the show. What, Hilly? The Medici princes used to have people executed if they were caught looking at the tricks ahead of time. Now out. Ladies and gentlemen, my namesake has a surprise for all of you. A magical treat of his own, I repeat, of his own devising. I give you Hillman the Magnificent. Ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick, I want you to watch closely as the mysteries of the Orient take hold. Presto, changeo, the disappearing tomato. Ta-da! <laughs> Presto, changeo, return. Yeah. 
That's my radio. Now, for the disappearing radio. Presto! Presto, change turn. Grand finale. The disappearing human. Now, I need an assistant. Barney Applegate? No way, man. Forget it. <laughs> Come here, Davy. Don't want to. Do what I say. It's okay, David. Go ahead. Here you go, David. <laughs> Good Hilly, I'm scared. Do it, and I'll give you anything. All your G.I. Joes? Everyone, just get up here now. Wow. Right. Billy! Really? <laughs> Off you go. I know that you can, because I learned this trick from the Tommy Knocker Man. Presto, Majesto, disappear. <laughs> now, wait, wait, wait. I'm not done. Enough, Hilly. Get your brother and come on in and open the presents. He's not under there, damn it. Hilly, don't swear. Get your brother out of there and come on in. We're going to open your presents. Presto, change your return. Presto, change your return. Presto, change your return. Please, God. I'm sorry. You can have all my G.I. Joes. Anything, I swear it. Just let him come back. What's wrong, son? I'll do anything. Just bring him back. Bring him back now. Oh, God, what does he mean? Who's he talking to? I don't know. Hilly, you stop fooling around and get baby back. Now. I'm trying, but I can't. I'm trying, okay? Okay, where is he, honey? Where did he go? I don't know. I don't know where things go when they stop being here. Come back, Davey, come back. Know. Probably asleep somewhere in the grass. Without any of us seeing it? He would never have gone off by himself, never. Honey, you know little boy's okay. I mean, <sighs> he's been gone an hour. I'm sure he's going to turn up. You've got to find him before dark. You've got to. Haley, how did you think up this trick? The voices. They told me what to do and how to do it. What voices? I don't know. I don't know. Take it easy, son. This is all your fault. I wish you'd never given me that stupid magic set in the first place. Hilly, you don't mean that. Yes, I do. I hate magic and I hate him. All right, everybody, listen up. We're going to search this town from top to bottom. First, I want you to divide into groups. One group, go up and down Main Street. I want you to check every building, store, and house, and don't forget to knock on every door. Now, Ev, guard Bobby, you come with Butch and me, we'll search Burning Woods. I've got a little boy lost here today, and I want to find him before nightfall. Well, what are you all gawking at? Come on, let's go find him. I'm sure we'll find him, then. Are you? How do you know he's lost? I guess I know how you must feel, but... Uh, no. No. You don't know how I feel. Davey! 
been acting really weird lately. Well, he's acting like a regular Cujo. What? What? What do you hear? I, he I heard something over there. All right. No sign of the poor little man. He's, he's he's abducted, right? I'm afraid so. There's uh, just no rational explanation. He could not have gotten past the search area without being taken by somebody. We've got an APB out. Somebody will spot him. But your men will keep looking for him, won't they? Sure have. Well, we'll start again at first light. You're just going to leave him out there all by himself all night? Yeah, what do you mean first light? Brian, what are we going to do? Oh, honey, let's just let them do their job. We'll find them, Marie. I'll take care of everything. We'll be yeah, fine. I know just let we them will. do their job. Becca, you look exhausted. Why don't you go on home and take care of Joe? What? Oh, Joe left the search early. He said he was coming down with the flu. I'm on the phones. I'll go see how he is. I'll be back first thing in the morning. Okay. Thanks, Becca. Thank goodness. Missing child hotline. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I don't know. No. Mm -hmm. I know I tell you that hey, that kid Davy could be the best thing that ever happened to us. With any luck, he could be missing for a week. Mm -hmm. We could be. What about Becca? No, no, forget it. Forget it. Becca's going to be manning those phones day and night until they find him. Mm. Oh. Day and, and night. Night and day. Mm. <laughs> Joe, are you all right? Joe? Final passion. Well, what if this is some other explanation for the lipstick? Do something about it. Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> Any luck finding the boy? high and low, but there was just no sign of that kid. Thou shalt not suffer a liar. Huh? Sorry, chum. I guess the gals didn't pick you as their perfect date. God, would you turn this junk off? I mean, I hate this show. Turn it off yourself. What did you say to me? I said you could damn well turn on the show to the what the hell is the matter with you talking to me like that?
Katie? Buffalo Soldiers, a new novel by Roberta Anderson. Regard my partner with the quest. Please come back. You just come back. I'll give you all my G.I. Joes. Snake eyes. Crystal balls, know that? Even the pterodrome. Julie, help me. Davy? It's cold and dark, and I want to come home, Millie. Where are you, Davy? Where are you? With the Tommy knock. Help me. How? I don't know how. Please, Davy. talking to Where, where's Davy? I don't know I don't know where things go when they stop being here I never disappeared anything that was alive before I'm taking him to the hospital, no, Terry. No, 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 no. You two stay here. I'll take Henry to the hospital. I'll call you as soon as I spoke with the doctor. Now pray for us. Dad, yeah, yeah. You're going to be okay. I'll get the door. Best thing you've ever written. Thanks. I think it is too. Yes, it is. <laughs> so when was this uh, done? Last night. Mm -hmm. In my sleep. <laughs> it's impossible. Well, not with my word accordion. <laughs> Telepathic typewriter, huh? Bobby. 
what's it like, this uh, feeling? Thing? It's a high. It's an incredible high. Hmm. What about you? You don't feel anything? Nothing. Not a jot, not an ounce of poetic inspiration. Nothing. You will. It just doesn't happen all at once. I suppose you're right. Hey, uh, maybe it's the old plate in my head, huh? <laughs> day off. No, I thought you said you wanted to go out there and dig today. Well, uh, yeah, we've been working too hard. Did you know that it's the 4th of July? You want to go into town and wear flags? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, but I just know that we have to be there. I just want to welcome all of you to our 4th of July celebration. As you know, our community has suffered greatly during these past few days. We've lost our beloved postman, Joe Paulson, and we pray for a speedy recovery for his wife, Becky. Our hearts and our prayers go out to the Brown family in their hour of need as we continue our search for their son, Davy. And yet, in the face of all these tragedies, our community has really joined together. Very proud of you. Would you please rise now and join me in singing the national anthem? Oh. Knocking at the door. 